Whoa, what's up? Today's video is on the unroyal family. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And in case you ain't heard me right, they renounced the goddamn throne of Zamunda. Show them the clip. The royal family. The queen reportedly left in the dark. The global reach of a global brand. Harry Imigan. El príncipe Harry y su esposa Meghan Markle. Royals who decided they no longer want to be royal. And live without financial help. The shock no greater than on home soil, back gracing the front pages. They've dominated since first getting together. Mm -hmm. Y'all saw that, right? So tell me, why the fuck would them two renounce the throne, y'all? Now, this is BTN. So if I'm talking about it, you know it got something to do with race. And in case you don't know where the fuck you at, you witnessing the Rebel Network. All sensitive motherfuckers must leave now. Now, why the fuck would they break up, y'all? Is it because of scheduling? Like, she can't get to see him all the time? The kids don't get to see the queen and shit all the time? You know, shit like that? No, because... Because when you was dating, it was all type of scheduling conflicts as well, right? Think about that. Oh, is it the press? Is the media always in the way and making up all of these rumors and shit? No, they done that shit when you was dating. So you had time to iron that out. Like, you know what? I can't take this shit, goddammit. The press and shit is everywhere. Plus, I'm black. They all up on me. Like I said, this is BTN, goddammit. So you know it got something to do with her being black. But also by this B B being BTN. And God damn it, you know we about to go deeper. Cut to the next clip on the ass. Let me make sure that shit ain't muted too. I'm gonna hurry up and go to it. Brightest of days, it Bam. came darker ones. The, the Duchess of Sussex alluded to in a documentary last year. Not many people have asked if I'm okay, but it's um, ain't even asked if she was okay to be going through behind the scenes. And the answer is, would it? Okay, it's really been a struggle. Yes. And as for Prince Harry, who was once so close to his brother, Prince William, a rift appeared to grow. Look, we're, we're brothers, we're, we'll always be brothers. Um, we're certainly on different paths at the moment, but I will always be there, always be there for me. But wow did y'all hear that you are witnessing a rebel network first of all that woman looked like she damn near in tears so while i was watching it i was kind of getting pissed off like look at her look at her face right now look like she in fucking tears and look what he said the lady said god damn it is that ain't nobody asked her if she was okay now don't you think the follow-up question would be like damn well well what's going on god damn it and she was like you know people don't have no idea what the fuck is going on behind the scenes you heard that shit he didn't follow up with what the fuck is going on behind the scenes like what they did you know let me know because she in tears she looked like she'll let his ass know what the fuck is going on behind the scenes but he didn't follow it up with that shit he said is it fair to say that uh, you're not feeling good? You know, it's bad behind the scenes. And she's she like, yeah, you fake motherfucker. See, her face like, yeah, since you ain't going to ask me the hard hitting question, you fake motherfucker. That woman look like she in tears. Now, what could they possibly be doing behind the scenes that's that bad and that's being racist as we fucking know that they can be? God damn it. That's what they was doing behind the scenes. Probably snickering and making jokes about her behind her back, but in front of her face. You know how fake motherfuckers do. God damn it. That's what the fuck they was doing. The woman damn near in tears. And now after he... Um, he married and shit. He got kids by her. Now all of a sudden, his brother don't fuck with him. If y'all know them, y'all know they. Them two brothers was tight. God damn it, they was tight as a motherfucker, as two feathers. God damn it, on the same bird, Princess Diana. But now all of a sudden they separate. Now all of a sudden they separate. Look at William anyway, his motherfucking brother. But anyway, y'all know how we do. We gonna dig even further into it. God damn it. Look at them. His brother ain't even fucking with him and shit. What kind of shit is that? Throw this shit on. Look what they worried about. Now after y'all just saw this woman in tears, you would think the uh, next story would be about, you know, man, what's going on behind the scenes? Let's figure this out. And the queen wants to know why is the uh, future possibly uh, princess or queen why is she so upset about behind the scenes the queen is on the scene you know they ain't follow it up with no shit like that look what the fuck they worried about god damn it how look what patient, they worry about saying they want 
financial independence while they continue to use Frogmore Cottage, which was refurbished in 2018 using £2.4 million of taxpayers' money mm, mm, and will mm. still have the publicly funded provision of armed security by the Metropolitan Police. Do y'all hear that shit? Do y'all hear that shit? Listen again. Continue to use Frogmore Cottage, which was refurbished in 2018 using £2.4 million of taxpayers' money. And we'll wow. So you know what? Let's block talk break that shit down to what I believe is going on behind the scenes. They said you let that motherfucking black girl go and stop being a nigga lover or else we cutting you off. And you know what the fuck he said? I renounced the throne as a moon to God damn it. And they say, well, guess what? You ain't getting no more of our motherfucking money. And when you see the media reporting certain shit like this here, like, oh, they want financial stability and shit like that. I mean, financial independence yet they continue to use frogmore uh cottage god damn it fuck frogmore cottage frogmore cottage the key word was use so don't y'all think other family members use that motherfucker too but oh it's a big deal that they using it because dog we just re renovated that shit dog what the fuck y'all y'all using it y'all said y'all won't be free don't be using our shit though you dig see how they get down listen a little further to that bit while they continue to use Frogmore Cottage, which was refurbished in 2018 mm. using £2.4 million of taxpayers' money, mm. and will still have the publicly funded provision of armed security. And look at that. They even worried about them using money for security. God damn it. They worried about the dude was born into royalty, which means he's not safe. No matter. Oh, you think, oh, you I just renounced the throne so I could I could walk around. I'm free now. Ain't nobody taking pictures of me. Ain't nobody going to rob me. Ain't shit going to happen. I just renounced the throne. Y'all don't know me no more. They don't even want to pay for his safety. Y'all know what the fuck that mean? That mean blood in, blood out. God damn it. We don't give a fuck if you renounce the throne it's get it how you live y'all they threw him all the way to the side now they telling they trying to get the public you dig to uh denounce him too you dig they trying to get the public in better a better way to put it they trying to put get the public to disown him as well or not have a problem with them disowning him you dig that's why they like man and they using taxpayer money and shit man we just renovated that shit and shit like that listen which listen. was refurbished in 28 18, using 2.4 million pounds of taxpayers' money, and will still have the publicly funded provision of armed security by the Metropolitan Police. How they pay for it, saying they want Look, financial independence. That's crazy, bro. And to drive that point even further, goddamn it, to drive that shit even further. Let's go to the next clip, goddamn it. Edward Eight, who finally. Oh no, I think I fucked around and left that clip out, goddamn it. These people were so fucking pissed off. Guess what they were saying? If they wanna fucking uh be free and all of this here, they need to pay for security like David fucking. Beckham, goddamn it! What kind of shit is that? And that's what one I can't think of the uh the uh member of parliament or whatever that fucking said that you dig. I thought I had the clip, my bad. But that's when you gotta understand that you witnessing the rebel network and shit like that might happen, goddamn it. But like I said before, what do we do here on BTN? We go to the fucking past, goddamn it, so we could get a better view of the fucking present. You dig? Let's go to the past, y'all. Check this shit out, you did. Check Edward this out. Who finally breaks up this neat and tidy and somewhat boring line of succession by committing a scandal, marrying a commoner, an American commoner, an American commoner divorcee hmm. twice over. <gasps> Actually, the divorces were a real problem and weren't compatible with the monarch's role as head of state and also the Church of England in the 1930s. Edward abdicated to his brother George VI, who to Edward VIII, who finally breaks up this knee. You see there? And I let a little bit of the second part play over so you could hear that that was Edward VIII. He married a commoner as well. And what did they say? She was a divorcee. Hmm, sound like she have something in common with somebody else, huh? Hmm, right? What else was she? They say she was a commoner. That way, you know, she was a regular ass bra who was divorced. And she was divorced twice at that. And she was American. You heard when they was like, American? What? And now put this on top of it. This time she black. 
<laughs> ain't that something? See, ain't nothing new under the sun. Everything come back tenfold. How the fuck these people have all of this shit in common? That's what happened when you witness a fucking rebel network, though. Listen to that shit closer, goddammit, and you know we ain't finished breaking it down, though. Listen this neat and tidy and Henry somewhat boring eight. line of succession he by committing a scandal. Marrying sure. a Bam. Commoner, he an married American her. commoner, an American commoner divorcee mm. twice over. Mm. Actually, the divorces were a real problem and weren't mm. compatible with the monarch's role as head of state and also the Church of England in the 1930s. Ed Mm hmm. Yeah, y'all heard that shit. He married her, goddammit. He was like an American. Oh, a commoner. Oh, and she was divorced twice. Oh, now put this on top of it. And she's black. Whoa! Whoa! Look, the lament popped up and everything. On top of that, she black. So think about how the monarchs reacting now, goddammit. He won't try to date it and say, oh, that shit wasn't compatible with the monarchs back then. Clearly, that shit still not compatible you did but guess what the shit gets deeper you know why elizabeth um happy to uh basically toss him to the side because y'all get it right that she said look leave that black girl alone you dig or else we cutting you off if you don't get it by now understand how elizabeth came to the uh throne y'all she cut uh that commoner off you know the commoner right there that they're talking about the american divorcee and shit she the one who came to power after she made sure that that commoner don't come into power, goddammit. Check this bullshit out. You witnessing a rebel network. The sixth, who was reluctant to take the crown and then had to oversee World War Two. Look, first the, the brother took the shit. Wake up of the British Empire. And he couldn't take it, died at 56. And who took the crown at 25? Six, leaving the crown to Elizabeth. Elizabeth the second Bam. Elizabeth, just in case that shit choppy. Look. Just like her um ancestor, goddamn Queen Victoria, they bought the show. Bam. Grandmother was on her coronation mm -hmm. day. This but shit breaking up so bad that I'm gonna um, lay up there the uh longest mute reigning. that bullshit but y'all heard me talk through the bullshit just in case you know all of a sudden they got the shit all breaking up but here you go again your boy had to succeed the shit to his brother you did who ended up having to monitor world war ii and shit so that shit stressed him out so at 56 you did he lays up there and die and who gets the throne at 25 years fucking old who gets it? Elizabeth down there, goddammit. And just like her ancestor, Queen Victoria, she held it down for a long ass time, goddammit. She was a queen for a long ass time, motherfucker. See? So she came in the fucking power through that making sure that that goddamn, uh, they made sure that that commoner from America don't inherit the goddamn throne. And your boy made sure that they little sister get the goddamn throne at 25 and shit like that, you dig? See? Peep game, brothers. I told y'all, these people, ain't nothing new under the goddamn sun. Everybody paying attention to this and shit. Ain't, ain't, they ain't even looking at the racial aspect of it because I was looking for videos. You could barely fucking find them, goddamn it. You could barely find him and then his brother disowned him just because he a nigga lover. Basically, <laughs> his brother disowned him for being a nigga lover. Ain't that a bitch? That is fucked up, huh? But y'all probably don't see that. I'm, I'm race baiting and shit. Y'all calm down, you know. It's just race baiting, you dig? Ain't none of this. And look how ain't nothing new under the sun, y'all. Look how ain't nothing new under the sun. How, how this woman have all that shit in common with this bra, bro? That's and eerie, a actually. A look, commoner, an American look, commoner, a an divorcee American and everything. Look, say twice over. <gasps> actually, the divorces were a real problem and weren't compatible with the monarch's role as head of state and also the Church of England in the 1930s. Wow. Edward abdicated to his brother George the Sixth, who to Edward VIII, who finally breaks up this neat. Ain't and tiny that some, y'all? That shit really eerie, though. That they have all of that shit in common. So I hope that that spread of nothing else don't spread from this fucking video. And my dumb ass was supposed to fix the t the uh, ticker or whatever to say. Uh, share BTN with your friends.
friends and family and shit like that. Plus, I'm supposed to tell y'all to subscribe to Lioness Pump, you dig? Get y'all fitness straight, you know, get them push-ups in. Go subscribe to uh, Lioness Pump, goddamn it. She be getting it in, you dig? I'm telling you. But anyway, y'all see how we block talk break this shit down? And y'all also see how I'm trying to provide constant content around this motherfucker. This really a test run this week to see if my content is watered down by trying to put out content each and every last day. So y'all let me know, goddammit, if you feel like, man, you need to keep doing this shit every goddamn day, nigga. Or if you like, know what, take your breaks in between, whatever it is, man, you know, blah, blah, blah. But whatever the fuck you do, give your honest opinion. Once again, y'all holler at me.